Maybe you moved or renamed a folder with footage in it and now everything in your project is yelling at you about media offline. No sweat, today I'm gonna to show you how simple it is to relink that footage in DaVinci Resolve 17. So if your timeline looks like this in DaVinci Resolve 17, don't worry because there's a new little button up here in the upper left. It's in the cut page and the edit page. You check that guy, you click that. If it's orange, it thinks there's stuff offline. And then all you need to do to reconnect these missing clips is point it to where you think it uh, lives at. Now, if you don't know where it lives at, then you can do disk search, which disk search I don't recommend using, but it's here. And that's a deep search of every single directory on your file system. So if you click this, it even kind of warns you, it says this comprehensive search is going to take some time. I don't want to deal with wasting that time. So I'm going to hit cancel on that. And I'm going to say locate. So I'm going to point it to where I think that folder's at. And in this instance, I know this is the uh, walls closing folder right here. So I'll hit open and it's going to scan through, search for file names, time code, and reels if you have that enabled. And just like that, boom, it reconnected everything. So this is a great new feature in DaVinci Resolve 17. There's a little relink button that's up here in the upper left. You got to love the simplicity of that new relink button, but it's only on the cut and edit pages. So I also want to show you a couple other ways to relink clips on the media page. And be sure to stick around to the end for a bonus tip about my favorite little inexpensive apps to help keep projects organized and easy to find. Over here in the media page, you'll see we have some organization with bins and each bin has different offline media in it. But to relink it, it's really helpful if you can get all your footage in one location. And the way you can do that is with a smart bin. If you right click down here, you say add smart bin and we can just call it all footage. And by not changing anything else that's on here by default, and just clicking create, it's gonna create a bin that shows you all the footage or all the assets that you have in that project. And a little pro tip, I like to have this turned on in every project I go to. So I'll hit this checkbox, say show in all projects. Now I only have to create this once ever. And uh, every time I make a new project, it's gonna have all an all footage uh, bin there so I can use to reconnect. Click create. And now down here, rather than just looking at these sort of limited number of assets, we can see all footage in this one and they're all offline. So the way we're gonna reconnect these really quickly and is with basically we're gonna change the source folder. And I wanna show you on the finder level, we had taken the footage, it used to live in this walls closed folder and now it lives in walls still closed. Um, but this could have been like the media moved from one hard drive to another hard drive and the directory stayed the same. This is a really fast way of reconnecting all of it in one fell sweep. So you select one of them, you hit command A to select them all, you right click and you say change source folder. And by clicking that, you're just gonna say, where did it live before and where does it live now? So it's a, it's a little, it's one more step than just saying where it is now. It, it wants to know where it used to live, but it's really, really fast at relinking. So we're gonna say, and then we're gonna go to browse. We'll say it used to live in walls closed. We'll say open and then browse. And we'll say now it's in walls still closed. We'll say open, we'll hit change. And just like that, you can see how fast uh, DaVinci Resolve relinked all of that footage uh, pretty much in an instant. So that's with a, basically it's a, it was a right click and it's change source folder. Really, really fast way if you're changing from one hard drive to another. Two relinking methods down, two to go. You're almost a master. One thing I wanna call out real quick is to help you understand the difference between relinking and conforming media in DaVinci Resolve. Relinking is what we've done so far. It's fixing the connection between the media pool and an actual disk location on your hard drive. Conforming is about the connection between the timeline and a media pool clip. This usually breaks after importing a video that's been edited in another application with an XML, EDL, or AAF. The offline clips actually have different icons. One's a piece of film with a slash, and the other icon has a question mark. But we want them all to be happy and not offline, right? So to fix the missing clips, all we need to do is drag the missing clips into the media pool that the timeline's looking for, and it'll automatically conform. So long as the project setting under general options is clicked, uh, which it is by default for automatically conform missing clips added to media pool. Speaking of clicking, I would love for you to click the like and subscribe button right now so you don't miss out on new tips next week. It's totally free and helps the channel a lot. I'm Chadwick and this is Creative Video Tips. It's all about helping you create videos that make a difference and stand out. And with that out of the way, let's get on with those last couple of relinking media methods. Now, what if you just have one clip right here that's offline in the media page? Well, that's super quick and easy to relink as well. If you right click, you can say relink selected clips. And then it's basically gonna ask you, where does that live at? And I know that that clip lives specifically right there because I moved it out to there. If I say open, 
is gonna link it up really quick, just like that. Now, the final way I wanna show you how to relink here in Resolve is by bins. So if there's maybe just one bin you're having trouble with and things aren't connecting, you can right click on the bin and say, relink clips for selected bin. And it's gonna ask you, where do they live? Well, I know they live right there. We'll say open and it'll connect just those. So if you have a really big project and maybe just need to connect what's in one bin, that's a great way to do it. I think this video would be incomplete without mentioning these four amazing little extra software programs that can make your post-production life easier, at least on a Mac. Post Taste from Digital Rebellion is totally free and it lets you build template folder structures so you can always start a new video project with all your assets having a consistent place to go. It's like everything has a drawer to go into. I love this one and have been using it for probably a decade. Edit Ready is a great piece of software to import footage off of an SD card. I like to use it to rewrap Sony and GoPro footage into MOV files with embedded metadata. It'll even combine spanned GoPro clips for you, and you could use it to transcode footage that's not supported on the free version of Resolve. Better Rename helps me quickly rename my clips so they don't always start with C001 after formatting my SD cards. And this makes sure that I don't have multiples of the same clip name in a single project. I don't do this when a file name is already unique, but it's great for those prosumer cameras like my Sony a7 III. You can also do this in the finder with a right click. You're just a little bit more limited on the renaming options. And finally, NeoFinder is an app that's new to me, but I love it. If you have lots of external hard drives that you work with, it'll catalog all the assets on the disk. It'll even make thumbnails so that you can find any old project quickly when you don't have the drive nearby or plugged in. And now that you understand how to get your project back online and connected, you don't ever need to worry about moving your project around to different storage locations. Click right up here to learn more about DaVinci Resolve. And since there's so much more to learn, I'll see you in that next video.